Happy Friday, November 30th, 2018, and not so happy for the folks over at Marriott. They have announced today that they suffered a large-scale data breach, and it also, as a plot twist, turns out the uninvited guest was in their network since 2014. So this person has had access, or group of people, we're not really sure, and I don't know that they are either. They are working with authorities to sort all this out, but once again, we got a big company here that has lost all of our personal data. 500 million people's personal data. Now, what the usual suspects of credit card and personal information about you was in there, but also passports were among the things in this database, along with any other information they had gathered along the way about you staying at those hotels. So this is gonna be a pretty interesting one to watch because it's an international incident, um, but my faith is waning in our U.S. justice system to actually set forth any punishment on these companies because we generally see these data breaches and it goes back to business as usual. But the EU has been stepping it up a bit and hopefully will hold their feet to the fire and we're going to have to wait and see and find out how much trouble they're really in. But this is an interesting question I've kind of been researching is, have any of these large companies ever gone out of business from a breach like this? And after doing a little reading, I can't name any large companies. Now, we work with the small business market a lot, so we've seen small companies that face these challenges and lose. They can't afford the fines. They can't afford the remediation. Uh, they can't afford to just hire a PR firm and put some spin on their entire poor security modeling. Now, I'm not going after them right away to say poor security modeling after Marriott, but their security is obviously going to be under scrutiny, and I'm a skeptic to the quality of it when you've had someone wandering on your network for the last four years. So it's going to be kind of interesting. I'm really hoping, and these companies never do a good enough job of this. I would love a debrief to kind of know how it happened, what preventative measures uh, can be taken against this, and it also could be a learning opportunity for other smaller companies so we can become better at security. So anytime there's an incident, I'm hoping for a learning opportunity, but unfortunately we're usually met with some PR spin and uh, someone will be sacrificing the company and they're going to blame that person who will make some type of a golden parachute exit from the company and they will go back as business as usual and their stocks will rebound and everyone will be all happy except for the consumers who lost all their data and have no real remediation for it and it's just a matter of when it happens again. So leave your thoughts and comments uh, below. I'll leave links to the articles about this and the official announcement from Marriott and we'll wait and see how this story develops. It's going to be interesting but I'm really hoping the EU steps it up and puts these companies and holds them responsible for once again losing people's data because this is just I don't want it to be a regular weekly headline and uh, unfortunately these companies have gotten away with it and without any real firm punishment against them it is going to continue to be a weekly headline uh, because there's simply no consequences for it security costs a lot of money uh, the breach doesn't cost as much so they roll the dice roll the gamble and we lose in these cases we the consumers lose uh, when these companies don't do things right thanks for watching if you like this video go ahead and click the thumbs up leave us some feedback below to let us know any details what you like and didn't like as well because we love hearing the feedback or if you just want to say thanks leave a comment if you want to be notified of new videos as they come out, go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell icon. That lets YouTube know that you're interested in notifications. Hopefully they send them, <laughs> as we've learned with YouTube. Anyways, if you want to contract us for consulting services, you go ahead and hit lawrencesystems.com and you can reach out to us for all the projects that we can do and help you. We work with a lot of uh, small businesses, IT companies, even some large companies, and you can farm different work out to us or just hire us as a consultant to help design your network. Also, if you want to help the channel in other ways, we have a Patreon. We have affiliate links. You'll find them in the description. You'll also find recommendations to other affiliate links and things you can sign up for on lawrencesystems.com. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.